The Packers currently have 11 wide receivers on their roster. Only three have more than 10 receptions in their NFL careers. One's Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, and Devontae Adams. How much pressure is on Aaron Rodgers, Skip? I think, Stephen A., there was already considerable growing pressure on Aaron Rodgers before this injury occurred. And I think the heat just got turned up. Now, I'm going to hearken back to that NFC Championship game at Seattle. Again, was Aaron still hobbled a bit by the lingering calf injury? Maybe a bit. But by his standards, I think even you would admit or agree, he stunk it up in that game. His QBR was 37 on a scale of 1 to 100. 37 QBR. And they were in fairly commanding position to close that deal and get to the Super Bowl in the second half. Aaron Rodgers was not Aaron Rodgers. So the carry over that was creating pressure already on a guy, and I'm going to bring this up again because it, it's germane today. It, it's applicable. Aaron Rodgers, since he won that Super Bowl way back when, is two and four <laughs> in the postseason. Now, now think about that. You can shake it off all you want about that bad man, but but two and four is just bad. For a quarterback of this stature, this is sort of the flip side of Andrew <laughs> Luck, who we've prematurely coronated. And now maybe we kind of prematurely coronated Aaron he, once he won a Super Bowl. And all of a sudden, since then, he's two and four. And he very well should have been one and four because my Dallas Cowboys won the game. Because clearly, as everybody in the no, world knows, no, that, that was, was a, a catch. catch. Everybody knows it's Stephen A. So, again, could Aaron Rodgers have come back and win that, won that game? Maybe he could have. But he was really limpy that game. And I think my Cowboys would have closed that deal and gone on to Seattle and beaten Seattle up there as they already had in the regular season. And then who knows what would have happened in the Super Bowl. That would have made Aaron Rodgers 1-4 and four since his long-ago Super Bowl. So I'm starting to wonder, because we always debate this, Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers, all of a sudden, now the playing field's level between those two. For the first time, Aaron Rodgers has receivers sort of on par with Brady's receivers. Tom Brady's never had that, that one wideout, except, of course, for Randy Moss, 07, 08, 09. In his entire career, with four Super Bowl rings, that number one receiver he has never had, that difference maker, and Aaron Rodgers has had Donald Driver and Greg Jennings, then on to obviously Jordy. He had Jermichael Finley for three big years before he got hurt. Obviously, Brady's had Gronk for two big years, but he's been hurt off and on. Two full years of Gronk, though, has been spectacular. So in the end, Tom Brady wins Super Bowl MVP thrown to a seventh-round draft choice who used to be a college quarterback in Julian Edelman, and to, to little Danny Amendola, an undrafted free agent? Are you kidding me? That's all you got? So now... Aaron Rodgers is going to find out how Tom Brady has been living and thriving in Foxborough because he doesn't have his number one receiver anymore. Well, if Aaron Rodgers dipped and dunked the way Tom Brady does most of the time, it wouldn't be that much of a challenge well, anyway. Maybe he better. It ain't that hard to do that. Maybe he better. Let's see if that. he can. Number one, number one, don't interrupt me. Oh, I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> number two, and more importantly, one of the things that I think that you continuously are just, just ridiculous about is this. <laughs> Skip Bayless, I never recalled you comparing Mike McCarthy to, Tom, to Bill Belichick. I mean, that, that's who Tom Brady has had at his disposal. Now, we, we got, listen, I like McCarthy, and I respect him, and he's a Super Bowl champion as a coach, okay? But the flip side to it is that he gave up offensive play-calling duties, all right? He, you know, got rid of the special teams coach, got rid of the dude that couldn't hold on to the onside kick and all of this other stuff. I mean, you got all of that stuff going on. There were changes that took place, uh, you know, within their coaching staff. The infrastructure of the Green Bay Packers is not nearly as consistent as that of the New England Patriots. When you also look at Aaron Rodgers, this was his number one weapon. Jordy Nelson has improved every season over the last seven years. I mean, if you look at it, the 43 touchdowns over his last three or four seasons is like third behind Rob Gronkowski, and I forgot who else there was. Uh, but when you look at that, and you look at the fact that he had seven touchdowns last year for 40-plus yards, which led the NFL, this is your number one primary threat at receiver. That's a lot to lose. Randall Cobb can pick up some of the slack, but you're going to need other guys like Devontae Adams and others to pick up the slack as well. They're going to have to get open. All I'm willing to say about Aaron Rodgers is what I have continuously said. 
He's a bad man. And if you get open, Aaron Rodgers will get you the ball. It doesn't have to be for a second or two. It could be for a split second. You get open. Aaron Rodgers is going to get you the ball because I believe he's the best pure passer in all of football. And I believe before all is said and done, he will go down as arguably the greatest ever. He's that lethal. He's that big time. He's that pure, that gifted as a quarterback in the National Football League. This is what I believe about him. But he can't do it by himself. He's the quarterback, but receivers got to get open and catch the daggone ball when he throws it to them. You understand? Because if he's not doing that, then it's going to be a problem. I can assure you that when you're looking at him and where he's supposed to put the ball, if dudes are open, watch him find them. There's none better okay. than him at that. Which brings me back to how we opened the show yesterday. And I must admit to you, we've been working together for what? We, we going on like 15 Three years? years. It's three years. What's that? It's three years. No, I mean, three overall. Three years on the show. But going back, all, all the well, way back we, oh, to some, yeah, some other yeah. network where we first That's started, right? right? 15, yeah. 15 okay, plus about years. 15 years. Yep. Wow. In all the time I've been with you, I, I think I always kid you that I feel like I know you better than you know yourself. But, yes. but I, I usually am correct in anticipating which way you will go with the question. I'm guessing, but I'm usually correct in, in anticipating. Yesterday, yep. you threw me the biggest curve you have ever thrown me. We did scale of 1 to 10 trouble. How much trouble are the Packers in yeah. without Jordy Nelson? And mm -hmm. I, I thought you might say 1 because you just say he's a bad man. It just doesn't right. matter. And you went all the way to 9. And, yeah. and I had already written down 8. So you shocked me with that one because you went more trouble than I was even seeing yeah. for the bad yeah. man that is Aaron Rodgers. I think Rogers. Jordy Nelson's a devastating loss. Okay. But, but if he's that bad of a man, if he's as great as you just detailed for me, and you keep beating me over the head with day after day after day on the show, then you right. should have said it was a one, that he'll no. make a star out no, of no, Randall no, Cobb or no, Devontae no, no, no. Adams first, first, or first of all, first Jared Abradaris, right? First of all, this is first take. It ain't skip take. You got your take, well, I got mine. And I look at it, and I, there you go, keep dreaming. The yeah. point that I'm trying to make to you big time, the point that I'm trying to yeah. make to you big yeah. time yeah. is uh. this. When you look at it from the perspective of Aaron Rodgers, I'm looking at it as, are you going to be able to get open? It doesn't That's matter. That's all I'm thinking about. Uh, listen, he hit you uh, right uh, there. You, you, you barely what? turn, and the ball's there, so it doesn't matter. Right, well, uh, he can make the, me a I'm, star. I am telling you, Aaron Rodgers will show up and do what okay. he's supposed to do. Yeah. I have no doubt about that. I have questions about the receivers that he has with them. I have no questions about Aaron Rodgers. If you, get, if you sit up there and do your job, Aaron Rodgers will be on the field for Green Bay, and it will look like they don't miss Jordy Nelson at all because he's a bad man. Okay. And I'm not worried about him. He needs <laughs> help, though. Okay, obviously, I have defended Tom Brady on this show for many, many years. Have you heard me once going into a season say, I don't know, they don't really have a number one receiver, so Brady's going to struggle this year because no, they don't no, have no. the people to catch the but football. Skip. I never but, say that. I say skip. he's going to be MVP. Been around. Gronkowski's been around a long time. He's had two you had years. Hernandez. You had Hernandez that was there at one particular point in time. Troy Brown was no scrub. Randy well, Moss on. was lethal. Okay, I'm saying they was weren't, three years. They, they weren't lethal, but somehow, some way within that system, they found ways to be effective. Then there was Julian Edelman, Wes Welker before him, Amendola after him, etc. Guys played their role fit into a system adroitly, which is why Bill Belichick is raved about as much as he's raved about, because they find a system. Matt Castle won 11 games mm -hmm. without Tom Brady. Matt Castle, mm -hmm. we ain't heard from him since. But that we year have, that Tom Brady went out in week one, he played for Bill Belichick in New England and won 11 games. And at that particular moment in time, we asked ourselves how much of a beneficiary was Tom Brady from the New England Patriots system because we talked so much about him. But when Matt Castle won those 11 games, even though they didn't make the playoffs, he won those 11 games, and we said it could be the system. Okay. All I'm saying to you is you can't ignore that. Okay. Remember, Matt Castle was coached that year by one Tom Brady. 
And back to your Belichick point, does Belichick coach offense? No, he does not. He's defensive oriented. Well, they is had he Charlie always... Weiss, and then after that they had okay, uh, they had a parade. Was Josh McDaniels, Josh McDaniels right. there, and then he came yep. back. Obviously, Bill O'Brien yep. was there. We can go on and on. But he's had a parade because the constant is 12, number 12. Tom Brady is the guy who runs that show well, and makes stars out of little Julian Element, but, Element and Amendola. But be clear, Skip. I'm telling you that I'm concerned because I think Jordy Nelson is that important. But it's not like I think that Aaron Rodgers is going to fall off the wagon and suddenly look like Jay Cutler. Aaron Rodgers will be Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers will do the things that he's supposed to do. Other guys got to step up and do their job, just like the guys in New England got to do their job for Tom Brady. But there is no question that Aaron Rodgers will show up and he will be, resemble that elite quarterback that we all know him to be. I have no doubt about that. Well, he'd better because he was not elite at Seattle in the NFC Championship Tom game. Brady, uh, Tom Brady was not elite in the AFC Championship game against Peyton Manning a couple years ago. Mid bag a long of shell. Time ago. Stuff that happens. Was a mere it's no big deal. It's, it's, it's no big deal. Wait, wait, Tom mere Brady, bag of the second half of this AFC Championship game and then the Super Bowl, what happened? I think he was the I'm MVP saying, against the Seattle Seahawks that had listen. just beaten Aaron Rodgers. Really? Tom Brady. Tom wow. Brady's got a Super Bowl for the first time in 10 years. Congratulations. We'll see what happens with Aaron Rodgers. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Can we get yeah. hashtag mere bag of shells and premature coronation yeah. tre yeah. trending, Rob please? Cramden, honeymooners. I That's where I got it from. I just want to spin this board to really? fantasy. Obviously, Jordy Nelson's injury ups the value, the ADP of both Randall Cobb and Devontae Adams. Matthew Berry says that Adams is now a top 15 uh, wide receiver pick there, and Eddie Lacy, obviously top five. For all our fantasy mm. fans, just trying to help you out. That's a mere bag of shells to me. Oh! Wow. All right. Meanwhile, what did LeBron really mean by this IG post? We'll break.